everything is repairable if you're willing to repair it, right? <laughs> Every mistake is fixable or reversible if you're willing to fix it. Hi, I'm Angel. Thanks for stopping by. Here is my hearth to my outdoor oven. Take two. I made the first take a couple of days ago uh, on this stone base that I've had for a mighty long time and I accidentally forgot to calculate for the entrance and the flue. That was pretty silly. So today I had a take two to build in the underlay of the hearth and in doing so I've had to kind of, didn't have to, but rather than try to get it perfectly even and then leveled out, what I ended up doing is raising it about a quarter inch along that lip because it's a, what's called a cold joint. And so, uh, so that adds even more materials and work down the road uh, on the next step, but that's all right. It's still fixed for now. And so uh, it's leveled, you know, edge to edge. I got a bigger platform to work with. So after this cures another day or two or next time I have time to get out here, then I will lay my fire bricks and uh, start with my my dome building and my flue archway building proper. But uh, I guess I just wanted to to remind you that you can repair any mistake if you're willing to figure out how. There's where there's a will, there's a way, as they say, right? And uh, and finished is better than perfect, lots of times. So <laughs> this is an experimental outdoor oven and is already you know step one already actually the very step the mix itself is an experiment it's a, a highly insulative heavy on the perlite mix but also some refractory clay in it so um, I think that's just to add strength I don't think it's gonna hurt anything it might reduce the the uh, insulative property just a little but I'm really not worried about that because I have another layer of insulation uh, pumice rock under that and then on top of the dome I'm going to be insulating it quite well with a ceramic blanket and a layer probably a ceramic blanket and then um, definitely four inches or more of perlite mix which is heavily insulated which is the, what this is mostly but this has some more other stuff in it too anyway if you have any questions at all I'd be happy to try to answer them if you got any suggestions or tips or comments I'd be happy to read them unless they're mean, in which case I'd be unhappy to read them, but I still will. <laughs> if you want to get in touch with me, hire me, support me, check out my other projects and stuff, check out the description for that. I don't know why I'm pointing behind me. I'm pretty sure it's down there somewhere. <laughs> As always, I wish you love, lightheartedness, laughter, peaceful conflict resolution. I'm going to do just a little more cleanup on this. and uh, As you see, I got a little more in that bucket so I can finish off any little errors. You can kind of see I've tried to pull it out this way for my entryway. I'm going to face it that way because just because of the way the tree overhead is, I'm trying to make sure my flue isn't in danger of burning that. In case you were wondering why I'm facing the, I know you don't know how my yard works, but anyway, it's kind of facing away from the door, but it's, I'm making a new little outdoor fire area is what this is. And it's all experimental, like everything in life, right? Ciao for now.